Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I am back, um, at least momentarily. I wanted to do an unboxing today for you guys. I've already seen it because I went here in DC to Farney's Pens. Um, so I have a new pen today. So today is a new pen day. Um, I will be buying a few more pens this year, but not too many. Um, I want to thank everyone who bought my pins that I was de-stashing. I'm going to stop the de-stash for a while, um, maybe pick it back up in summer again, but I want to give myself a little bit of a break from <laughs> running back and forth to the post office. Um, so thank you everyone. I hope everyone has their pins that bought the pins uh, and I have a, they have a new home and they're enjoying them. So let's talk about uh, the pin purchase today. Kind of impromptu, kind of not. This was going to be part of my eight pin questions and yes I'm planning on doing a video of the eight pin purchase or the eight pin revisit from a year ago that Simone and Leanne likes um, has re-released as you know a revisit from that I have a couple of other purchases that I've been buying and I wanted to kind of like just do a really br brief recap now um, the reason why I went to Farney's pins is because I have been using like crazy my little per, um, Caveco Perkeo, the red cap with the white body plastic pen. I absolutely love that pen. It's just great for me to throw it in my bag and kick it around. As a matter of fact, it's right here. I'll just grab it, this little, this little gem. And in this gem, I don't really um, worry about too much writing with um, a cartridge. I use, I mean, excuse me. A converter I use a cartridge in this pen because I like to take it with me for travel and such and one of the main inks that I like to use is this Faber-Castell carbon black because Faber-Castell ink has actually got some waterproofness to it so and it's not as goopy as platinum carbon black and because I am traveling I wanted to get some more cartridges so I went to Farney's to get the cartridge because I know that they sell Faber-Castell ink that was why I went to Farney's However, I got in there and my eyes got really big and I saw, I was literally getting ready to walk out the store and I saw this pen and it's a pen that I've had my eye on for quite some time and it's pricey. Um, you know, I've got a few fountain pens. I'm down to probably like four fountain pens that I really want to get. And this was one of the four. I was like on the slide it was probably my fourth fountain pen that I wanted to get versus my first fountain pen, but my first is going nowhere. And I will talk about that in the eight pin question. So what I ended up doing is I made a purchase and this pen, other people have revealed this pen. I just, I thought, oh my God, it's really a beautiful pen, but I never saw it in real life. I never got to put my hands on it. It's a brand that I do not already own, so this is a great thing for me because I'm pretty much down to, I think I have, out of all the pins that I have left, I have one brand that I would like to purchase, maybe two, um, two on, a, on the positive end um, that I want to purchase that I don't already own, and this was one of them. So without further ado, I am going to reveal to you the box within the box the box within the box okay so let me just make sure I do this correctly I saw this and I was like wow this is a really nice package and I it's basically a nice sturdy cardboard box I hope I don't have this on hold on just a second I'm just gonna take a peek so I make sure I'm not turning it upside down and backwards okay I think I have it upside down and backwards so if you know logos and icons well then you might recognize this brand but it is a Monte Grappe and it is my first and only Monte Grappe pen and I've been looking at this pen since I've seen other people who have it um, and I just I liked it but I was like wow it's a little pricey but thanks to you guys I'm able to buy my first Monte Grappe pen so I want to say thank you thank you thank you it comes with the instruction book how to fill it um, Barney's did not have replacement nibs, but I'm going to go ahead and put my date of purchase and the dollar amount on here. Um, they have a roll of honor, so I'm going to kind of put that in here. So I'll fill that out, but here's the pen. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, they do give me two branded cartridges, which I think is really quite lovely and nice. Put that to the side. And it comes with its own satiny kind of sleeve, which is, again, a really nice touch. The Italians really do know how to do great presentation of pens. I have to give them credit for it. All right, I'm not going to keep this, this sleeve. I probably won't use the sleeve for this pen, but without further ado, there you go. It is the Monte Grappe Marshmallow. And I, I don't know what it is. Lately, I'm into like white pens. I know that Estherbrook has their new white one released, but I just really liked all the colors. And it being a nice spring day here in the DMV, I just thought, okay, why not? There's the Monte Grappe logo and the writing. I got the extra fine nib. Look at that. That's just a beauty. So, yeah. I felt like I wanted a new pen for the spring, so I went ahead and decided to pull the trigger on this one. So I'm gonna just put this all back. I like the satiny case, but I could see how this would get dirty for me, so I'm gonna just put this back as well. And this will just basically sit in my cabinet with all my other fountain pen boxes. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and find a ink color. I have all these ink samples still left over. And I'm thinking, um, I did the March currently inked. I have since added another pen to my currently inked stash. Let me see what I've got in here that I didn't already show you in the other one, and I think that is the Pilot Custom 74. I don't know if I showed you guys that one. I added that one because I wanted a green ink in there. And so this one, I kind of feel like Simone. I kind of do like a wide range of colors. So let me just, these are what I currently have inked for the month of March. So I think I want to do like a yellowy color. So I'm thinking, oh, I actually did do, I did actually ink another fountain pen and I put um, Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea. I had to go and get what I, I inked up. So in the vein of white fountain pens, I decided to go ahead and ink up my other Italian pen, my Mayoya. And this one I've added in, um, Maria, and this is Aventus, I think, Cloud. Hmm. I know it's Aventus, it's white. This one is a, um, I do believe, this one I got in an extra fine. I love how this pen writes. This has in it Dominant Industry. Earl Grey Tea. Okay, so that one is looking quite orange to me. So I think I am, I was going to do Inti. Put that to the side. But I think for this one, I don't have a very bright yellow. I do have Inti here. Let me just see what this looks like. Um, I think Inti's going to be a little bit too orange. Looking at the color from Califilio. Yeah, it's a little bit too orangey color. So I don't have a lot of bright yellows. I have greens and then it's spring, so um, things are blooming, and I kind of feel like I need to do a pink or I need to do a yellow. So I'm going to grab this napkin and wipe off this nib. Let me try African Gold, and then I've got a whole bunch of pinks in the sample. And I already have like Yama Buddha, but that's more like a fuchsia color. Let's do, let's see what, um, let me look at African gold again. That looks pretty brown, 
brown, yellowy kind of. I don't know, guys. I don't. I'm not really feeling that color. It doesn't scream spring to me as it does fall. So let me try one of my other ones. I have Royal Rhubarb from Ferris Wool Press. And I have a really big, oh, I have Yasakura. This is going to be the color. I'm sorry, I love, I didn't realize I had this much Sailor Yasakura, which is like cherry blossoms. And we're getting ready to have cherry blossoms in the Tidal Basin in the metropolitan DC area kick off. Um, it's gonna be full bloom by like the 17th of March, which is now actually, cause today's the 18th. So they should be starting to be in full bloom. Oh, it's still looking a little bit. I wonder if this is rendered. This is rendering a little bit too purple for me. So maybe it's not Sailor. This is Sailor Shikori. Uh, I thought Yazakura, Yazakura was a little bit more pink, but it's looking very purpley. I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if putting this a little bit too close to sunlight has darkened that. So that's Yazakura. That's a pretty purple, but it's not pink. And I want pink. So let's keep looking. But I'm glad to know that I have that much left. Okay, that's Honey Bee Eater. I love that color. It's a nice blue. Okay, that's purple. Oh. Noodler's Black Swan in Australian Roses is an absolute gorgeous color, but nope, I want pinker. I don't want to do a shimmer ink in my brand new pen. I think I might do Karen Dosh Divine Pink, yeah, or Robert Oster Australian Opal Pink. That should do it. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, well, maybe not. That is a pink, but I just, I don't know. It's right and pretty, pretty faint here. Australian opal pink. It is pretty. But I think it's going to write very, very faint. And I think it's going to drive me around the twist. So let's go and look at the next one, which is Karen Dosh Divine Pink. Might be the winner, winner, chicken dinner. So let's see if that's going to work. Why does that look... I don't know, guys. That looks a little. That looks a little red to me. Um, hmm. The divine pink is looking very, very. Um, mm. uh, let's see here. What do you think? I'm thinking Robert Ulster still might end up being the winner. Yeah? Because for this, it seems like even though it's pink, it seems like it's almost leaning closer to a red. At least that's how I'm looking at it. Um, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Let's see, I got one more color, which is Sailor 931. And, um, I was agonizing on whether or not to buy ink when I was sitting at Farney's because they do sell Sailor products. No, that's not going to work. Sailor 931. That is not going to work. All right. I'm going to go with the color Robert Ulster Australian Opal Pink because I think that that is truly my pink color unless I start pulling out other bottles of ink <laughs> that I have. But for the sake of purposes of this, we're gonna go ahead, sorry about that, that fell off of my stand. We're gonna go ahead and do um, Robert Ulster. Oh, I have Dime Mine Pink Glitzy. 
Um, hmm, yeah, that's got gold. I don't really want to put that on my pen. Okay, so let me just find. I should have put. I shouldn't have put it back. I have apple blossom, which is not the color. Okay, where did it go? I should probably try royal rhubarb, but we're going to go ahead and go with this wonderful pink color. So let's do that. Let's ink that up. Just so I don't knock over the tube of pink ink all over the place because I would not be a happy camper. And I have not flushed this pen, but I'm going to go ahead and risk it being done. Look at that nice, beautiful, virgin. <laughs> ink converter not used but stamped with Monte Grappe on it. I love it when they do that. All right, so we're just going to bring this down. Keep this in here. And most of the time I usually flush my pens, as you know, but for the sake of argument for this, we're just going to go ahead and wing it. And I'm not going to fill it all the way because if the color gets on my nerves, then I can easily get through it. Let me just go ahead. Oh my gosh, that saturation of color looks really pretty on the paper towel. I mean, look at that. Um, and now we're going to say that that, that feed has been fed. Let's see what happens here. more wipe of the towel make sure I don't have anything on it and so the Monte ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. now with this being a um, Monte Grappa, a extra fine I probably should have Monte Grappa Marsh Mellow and this is in a extra fine. I like it. It's a little scratchy right now. I'll say feedbacky, um, just because I haven't rinsed it, and I don't mind the feedback. So this has Robert Oster. Australian opal. I will have to find a deeper pink because this one is a little bit too pale. But I like it in this pen combination. I just probably will put a drop of something else in it like that divine pink just to um, by Karen Dosh just to make that a little bit more poppy. So that's it. That's all I have for today. I hope you liked the video. If you have any comments or feedback, let me know. Um, what do you think of the pen? I know that it's been around on YouTube land for a while, but it's my first time owning a Monte Grappe and I absolutely love it. It'll probably be one of my first and only Monte Grappes, but it's absolutely beautiful. This um, clip right here is very, very stiff, but they do have like that roller wheel that's kind of common with the Italian brands like Leonardo. Um, and it is a cigar shape with very extreme points. These points are pretty, pretty astute here. So, but otherwise, I just love the coloring of this pen. I just think it's so beautiful and it's so spring. All right, that's it for today. I really appreciate you sticking with me till the end. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.